Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to understand about the normalization versus denormalization concept. It is a very much important topic from an interview perspective whether you are preparing for the data engineer or data architect you should know about the normalization versus denormalization. So let's start. So this normalization and denormalization are used in the context of a database design. So whenever you design your database like whether you want your data to store into the one table or you want your data to store into the multiple table like how actually you want to design your database in that context this topic is very much important. So let's understand what is a normalization, what is a denormalization and when actually we should use. So let's take one example and let's understand. So I will show you one of the table. Now let's understand what is a denormalization and what is the normalization. So in, you can see right side is the example of a normalization. In this case what generally happens, we try to store our data into a multiple table. You can see we have a one customer table. This customer table will store all the customer related details. Similarly we have a product table that will store the product related details and we have a order table uh, we have all the order related details in the case of the normalization what we do we try to split our data into a multiple table that's how actually we store now in this case of the denormalization what happens we store all the data into a single table we store our all the data into a single table you can see customer name customer address their product details their order details everything we have stored into the single table only in the case of the denormalization. Now in the case of the denormalization what happens redundant data redundant data generally you will see see redundant uh, data generally you will see or you can see you can you will see a duplicate data you will see a duplicate data. Let's take with the example now in this case you can see order id 1 his name is John his address is this he ordered a laptop and what is the price that actually we have stored. Now again his order one more thing headphone and the price is 100. Now in this case what actually happening whenever he is doing any order again and again his customer name and his customer address this is the redundant data right this is the duplicate data again and again we are storing this data. In this case what is happening our storage is increasing our storage is increasing storage is increasing because of the duplicate uh, data redundant data. So in the case of denormalization what happens we try to store all the data into a single table it increase the redundant data it increase the duplicate data and storage also it increase. So, but to avoid this what actually we do we use a denormalization concept in the case of the normalization what actually we do we try to store his all the data into a multiple table. You can see all the customer right whatever the their customer name and the customer address will store into the another table and uh, in the case of whatever the product table and the product details right, we will store into the another table and order table will store all the IDs and the uh, their order related details. In this case what will happen it will reduce it will reduce the redundancy or you can see the duplicacy it will reduce the redundancy and the duplicacy in the case of the normalization and whenever we need all their customer name and the address information right what actually we will do we will join this multiple table and we, we can get the details but this will reduce the redundancy and the duplicacy and in the case of the denormalization we store into the single table so to in, it this increase the redundancy and the duplicacy. So I hope you got the overall idea now let me so you the theory and let's understand one by one. Now let's understand the normalization versus a denormalization. So normalization is the process of organizing a data to reduce the redundancy and dependency by splitting a data into a multiple table. So in the case of the normalization we store the data into a multiple tables right to avoid the redundancy and the duplicacy. The main goal is to make the database more efficient and the avoid the data duplicacy in the case of the normalization and it is easy, easier to update delete or insert because uh, we are storing the data into multiple table right and whenever uh, you require an update on the specific table only you will perform an update so it is easier to maintain also. But the disadvantage of the normalization is like you have to perform a multiple joining whenever you have to get the data right the multiple join operation you have to write to get the whole data. 
so that is the th one thing you have to remember now coming to the denormalization right in the in the case of the denormalization it is the process of combining table or adding a redundant data to a database to improve a performance for certain read heavy operation so when actually we use a denormalization whenever you have to do a read heavy operation whenever you are reading a, a data multiple time uh, whenever you are do, doing a heavy read operation then we use a denormalization in this case what actually happen because we are storing all the data into a single table right so in this case we don't need to do a multiple join operation so this improve our performance this improve the query performance so when actually we use a denormalization whenever your performance is performance is must then the storage then the storage then you will use a, a denormalization because in the case of the denormalization we store all the data into a single table you don't need to do a multiple join it improve the query performance so whenever the query performance is more important then generally we go for the denormalization but in the case of uh, when storage is more important when the storage is more important then what actually we do we try to divide the data into a multiple table and we use a normalization so i hope you got the idea when to use a normalization and denormalization now let's understand when to use a normalization and when to use a denormalization so let's start with the normalization so whenever you are working with a transactional system right when i'm saying a transactional system is whenever like a banking or you are working in a e-commerce or any inventory system in that case what actually we use we use a normalization process whenever your data integrity and the consistency are more important then what actually we use a we use a normalization because we don't want to do a duplicacy right in the data in that case what actually we use we use a normalization whenever the storage efficiency and data updates are more frequent so whenever you are working and suppose in this case multiple updates is happening like the frequent updates is happening in this case what actually we do we use a normalization constant because it actually helps whenever the more frequent update is happening in that case also we use a normalization and whenever your storage is more efficient whenever the storage are important in that case also we use a normalization because you want to reduce the duplicacy right so whenever storage is important then we use a uh, normalization so in the case of the transactional system in the case of the data integrity and the consistency in the case of the storage efficiency and whenever the more frequent update is happening in that case what actually we use we use a normalization now let's understand when to use a denormalization so whenever you need to optimize your query performance means you don't want to do a multiple join operation right so in that case we use a denormalization concept whenever you are reading data is more frequent than a writing whenever reading and the query query you are writing more right in that kind of the system we use a denormalization concept example is a data warehouse analytical application right in that kind of the case generally we use a denormalization when your storage is less concerned and the goal is to speed up your query in the case what actually we use a we use a denormalization a denormalization in the case of denormalization we do a less join operation but in the case of the normalization we perform a multiple join operation so this multiple join operation becomes a complex query but in the case of the less join it will be a simple query and whenever your storage is not concerned then in that case what actually we use a we use a denormalization so i hope you got the idea and that's it in this year